They say the best gifts are homemade ones that come from the heart, and those gifts aren't too bad on the budget either. And today, Linda Daniels from Northampton Wools is here to show us how to make some fingerless gloves. Linda, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Seth. We both have our gloves on. We're good to go. We do. But we we're going to do anything with these. <laughs> exactly. We can even knit more fingerless gloves. Exactly. So you came on last year, and we knitted a cowl. We did. And I completely forgot how to knit <gasps> in the in the year that's passed. So you haven't made four or five cowls. I've, I've, I'm ashamed to admit that I have not. So how do we make fingerless gloves? Well, there are two basic ways of making fingerless gloves. I've given you a very simple way. You Thank make a you. flat piece, mm -hmm. sew up a seam, skip a little bit, and then sew the rest of the seam so that when you're done, you have a hole in the middle for your thumb. Gotcha. Very, very easy. So those, if we want to demonstrate them for people, it's these, the easiest ones. The easiest ones. You just fold them in half and sew them. You knit a flat piece like that. There it is. That's, that's up my alley. That's Because that's exactly probably it. as much as I can do. And then you can still do things like text, ride a bike, steer. Exactly. All right, and here we go. Making real fingerless remember gloves. Remember how now. to knit? You put no. the needle the, into the first stitch. Into the in first the stitch. Pick this yarn up and wrap it around. Okay. And then pull it back through the stitch and like slide that? it off. That's exactly it. Now, fingerless gloves, scale of 1 to 10, how difficult would you say they are? Well, once you actually know how to knit, they're not difficult at all. Okay, so you now I need to bring this one through. Wrap it around. around? Yeah. Around just around the, that needle. Okay. That's it. And now pull it back through the stitch that you stuck it into. Uh oh. Do you want to show people and first? And then yes. show everyone at home slowly, easily. I will pick it up by osmosis, then we'll knit That's together the way to do it. beautifully. This one I'm making in the more traditional way on a set of double pointed needles. So it's knit in the round, there's nothing to sew afterwards. Oh, so you're and making the whole cylinder? And making the whole cylinder. That's exactly it. It's now, called knitting in the round. Knitting in the round. And now describe the, the multiple needles. You said something earlier. Too. So these are called double pointed needles. Double pointed needles. Each needle has a point at, e at both ends and you can knit in the round with them on a small number of stitches like this. If you're knitting a hat, mm -hmm. um, or last year when we made the cowls, we knit on a circular needle, which does the same thing, just with a larger number of needles and a bigger amount of stitches. But these are so easy that you can do them in a weekend. Get two movies and a pot of tea, and you have a pair of fingerless mitts by the time the weekend is over. That, I love it. So, okay, so let's just do it both of us in tandem for everyone at home so that we can show them how to do it. Oh, you're putting me to shame. Linda. I am. I better. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would hope so. And okay. then I have one here that has beads in it so you can make them really fancy. How do you put the beads the, on? The beads go onto the stitch as you knit it. So if I had a bead here, I would pull the, sti the yarn through and put the bead right on that yarn with a little crochet hook. Um, it's a really simple process to do. We can show you that up at the store if you come in um, looking for it. Now like let's that. talk expense. How much, you say, not, yeah. not labor time, but how much would a, a ball of yarn cost? Or something it depends like this? on the type of yarn that you purchase. You can get a very inexpensive um, ball of yarn that is enough to make two sets of fingerless mitts. In other words, that it would make all four pieces for about $8. Oh, that's or real cheap. Linda. You can go with something that is more like this, that's alpaca or cashmere blend, that can run up to um, $16 to $20 All a right. skein, and you'll get a pair out. Linda, so we're almost out of time. Let's do one stitch. Yes. I, I want to prove to myself and everyone watching at home that I can do one. So the key is you're always going to wrap the yarn counterclockwise. You've stuck the needle into the stitch, make okay. an X of it. Make like an X. That. Okay. And now this yarn gets wrapped around the back needle. Wrapped around the back needle. And then pull it through pull the it front stitch. Through the front stitch. In, and slide that stitch right off the top. Of it. Off the top? There you go. Did I just do one? You did. Linda, thank, thank you, you so much. It's a pleasure <laughs> having you here. Next time, next year you come back, I will have made some of these. Right. I'm not promising anything, but I'll try really hard. Okay. So these gloves, they are a great way to take care of our hands during the winter.